I have found is that science literacy empowers you to know when someone else is just basically full of it. Because you understand full of wrong information would be the rest of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it means wrong information, incorrect information. <laughs> and so when, if you understand how the world works and what the limitations are that are well determined scientifically, experimentally, then you can judge whether someone is trying to exploit your scientific ignorance. And the person exploiting you is not necessarily scientifically literate themselves. For example, they might have crystals that they want to sell you and they will claim that it will cure you of your ailments. Like I said earlier, I don't require that in advance you understand the geological crystal and structure of quartz. I won't require that of you. What I will like for you to have is a way to ask questions about that. So they say, I've got some crystals. Is your, is your first statement, great, how much do they cost? I'll buy some now. Is that your first thought? Or is it, how do they work? Why do they work? Where do you get them? How have you tested them? What kinds of ailments does it cure? Is it better for some ailments than others? Can you cure something for me right now? These are the, and by the time you're done, the person is in tears looking to find someone else to sell their crystals to. <laughs> because in fact, they don't have the, the science literacy enough themselves to back that up. Now. We, as a species, are particularly susceptible to self-delusion. So eyewitness testimony is basically the worst form of evidence you could possibly bring forth. Odd, because it's some of the highest form of evidence in the court of law, which leaves me deeply worried about the future of our legal system. Because if you come to a science lab and said, it happened this way, I swear to you, I saw it, it's like, get out of my lab. This, I don't need, this, I don't, you know, what did you drink this morning? Or were you awake when you made the measurements? Give me a chart recorder. Give me some other device that is independent of your emotional state. That doesn't require that you had your cup of coffee in the morning to get the proper data. Then we can start the conversation about whether your phenomena that you measured is correct.